Hello there, my beautiful Leo friends. How are you? Welcome back to Sacred Knowledge Tarot. I am so happy and thankful to each and every one of you for being here with me today. So thank you, everyone. And those of you that are brand new to my channel, hello and welcome, my friends. My name is Ria, and I do these readings every week. Now, Leo, I'm going to pull three cards out of my tarot deck to see what message Spirit has for you. Then I'm going to pull a bonus card from the Spirit Animals or deck and an angel number for you as well. So those of you that are watching today, if you've been seeing signs through animals or insects, any kind of repeating numbers or angel numbers, this is going to give you your confirmation and guidance today. So stay tuned for all of this, my beautiful friends. All right, Leo, let's pull some cards here and see what spirit guides would like you to know for the month of December. All right, so we are getting the page of cups. Look at that, Leo, some sort of incoming message here. Uh, in the month of December th th that is going to touch your heart. It's going to give you a, a bigger picture and understanding of something very specific in your life. I also feel there's something that you're going to learn from this experience that this message is bringing in as well. It's something really good. It's going to have a positive impact on your life here. So get ready for this, my friends. All right, look at this, Four of Pentacles. So Perhaps this is a message on how you can build the stability and security in your life. This is what you're working towards and this is what's coming towards you. I feel that this is that ultimate stability, that firm foundation. This is what you're building for yourself and this is what you're going to get. All right, so what I also want you to do here, Leo, is to use your own intuition with my readings. So whenever you see my cards popping up on screen, I want you to try and interpret them using your own intuition. Not only will this strengthen your intuition, but you will also receive your own messages. All right, next we're getting the death card. So something has to be released or something's going to come to an end. This is a major arcana card. This energy is prominent. It's in the background. Some of you are going to feel this intensely. Others, you're going to feel this subtly. This is letting me know that something big is going to happen in your life. Something is going to um, release itself out of your life. It's meant to in order for the new to come in. So I just feel that this is a really good energy that is coming in and not to be afraid. Don't ever be afraid of this, okay? So I don't feel like this is anything negative. I feel everything is positive that is happening here. Um, so I just wanted to remind everyone that we all live a different life experience. These cards are going to present themselves differently in each of our lives. This is also a general reading and may not resonate for everyone today. So those of you that are watching, if my reading isn't resonating for you, please leave it behind. So let me start first off with this, the death card. Now, I feel that this energy is meant to leave your life. Something has to come to an end in order to make room for the new. And there's something profound that is coming in that is meant to come in. And I feel it's been kind of waiting to come into your life here, Leo. Now, what is this death card for you? This could be something that you know that needs to end in your life. And I feel in the month of December, it's going to be you working on releasing this energy out of your life. It's a dark energy. It sits there, right? And it kind of deteriorates everything that it touches. So for some of you, this could be something like an addiction of sorts, right? Something that you're doing in your daily habits that you need to put an end to because it's not working for you. Um, you know, death and rebirth is also coming in for me. So that thin veil between death and rebirth. So, you know, even though we're going through this period, these winter uh, months of things kind of falling away to the ground, going back to mother earth, they're going to regrow in the spring. 
So I'm getting this energy of renewal coming in for some of you. A part of you has to kind of die off in order for that new version of you to come to life here. And I'm getting that some of you, I'm getting the hermit card. So perhaps some of you are in hermit mode right now, really learning more about yourself, tapping into perhaps spirituality, you're growing spiritually here. A lot of different things because what we have here in the background, to me, this looks like an eclipse or a moon. Um, and your path is being illuminated. So this could be shadows that are surfacing in your life. And, you know, this is, we just had the full moon in the sign of Gemini, right? We have our path being illuminated by the moon. Communication, our words have power, our words have magic is going to be very important. So perhaps there an end, there's an ending coming in your life where you're now no longer going to hold the truth in or your true feelings and you're going to speak up and you're really going to put yourself in a position where things are clear right? If there's something that you want, you're going to ask for. If there's support that you need, you're going to ask for it, Leo. So this is what is coming through. I also feel like there's an ending coming with something. This could be a job. Um, this could be a relationship, right? This is necessary in your life in order for you to grow, Leo. So perhaps there's an expiration date around a relationship that needed to go a long time ago and you know who this relationship is with. Uh, maybe this is a job that is going to end, right? But in order for this job to end, that's the only way that new can come in, right? There's something waiting there that is wanting to enter your life here. I also feel that, um, I don't know if any of you are suffering from nightmares right now, any kind of night terrors, night sweat, something to do with the evening. Maybe you're afraid. Um, this energy is coming through as well. Um, especially with any kind of, um, if you're experiencing any kind of spirits, anyone on the other side that is coming through and you're not wanting this energy, you just let it know, just speak to it, communicate. Remember we have the full moon in Gemini. It's all about communication. So just let whatever it is that you're feeling know, um, that's outside of you, not in our realm. Um, just let it know, like you are not welcome here. Uh, or I'm trying to go to sleep, please leave me alone for the evening. Like just speak to it like a normal human being, right? That's the other thing that's coming up for some of you. Um, if you actually take a look at this card, there's beautiful roses, there's passion there. And there's something that you're passionate about here, Leo. What is that? Because I feel that passion is dying. And there's now, you're being given this opportunity to really ignite that again. And this is what spirit guides are wanting you to know that they're clearing your path or shining light on it. There's, there's, they're illuminating your path right now. So you can see the things that you need to shed out of your life, the weeds that have grown in your life. It's now time to nip them in the bud. What is holding you back? right? What is holding you back from your ultimate success, from your ultimate dream? What is that? These things that are holding you back need to come to an end. And because that illumination is happening, you're seeing things clearly. Perhaps it's yourself. Maybe you're holding yourself back. Maybe there's some doubts. Maybe there's some fears, right? Fear is coming in with this. So it's all about um, overcoming that fear. And this month of December for you is going to be very powerful. Look at this. You're getting the four of pentacles. Look at all of the security and stability. This is a rock steady foundation here, Leo. This is what you're trying to build here. And you have to let go of that fear, that thing that is holding you back, whatever that is. And only you can tell me what that is. Turn your strengths, or sorry, turn your fears into your greatest strengths here, my friends. This is going to be very powerful for you. And as soon as you do that, watch this beautiful world just appear in your life. It's not going to happen overnight. It's going to take some work, right? Because getting into, getting rid of this place is really difficult. Um, but it's only difficult if you make it difficult, right? So I'm going to give you an example of this. Like my husband and I have started our 5 a.m. club. We've been kind of going at it for a month now. There's days that we don't want to get up, right? It is hard. It is so cold outside. We're so warm in bed together. Why would we get up and go through this uncomfortable, um, you know, the most uncomfortable part for me is just getting out to the car, sitting in the car, waiting for it to warm out because there's frost everywhere. It's cold. It's 5 a.m. And then once that five, 10 minutes of that is over, it's just this beautiful, beautiful place 
like look at these beautiful roses right so getting over that uncomfortableness that you're feeling in order to change your life that's what this card is all about this is what I'm feeling here with you today Leo is to really um, get out of your own way here for some of you and this is not going to resonate for everyone today but I do feel getting out of your own way um, this is what this card is representing for some of you today all right so we have the page of cups so there's some sort of news or message coming in okay so allow yourself to be open and receptive I do feel that this is going to touch your heart in a way that um, is really going to fill you with uh, joy with happiness and this message I feel is coming in I, I feel either intuitively or through a dream and I feel some of you have been thinking about kind of ending something in your life for a while it's December right we're making new year new year's resolutions here so perhaps you're thinking about okay I'm going to put an end to that unhealthy eating I'm going to put an end to smoking I'm going to stop drinking 2024 is going to be all about me like really living my best life so I feel there's something coming in here that is kind of going to give you this bigger picture of how that's going to look you're going to understand better how you're going to be able to kind of do this uh, that's that learning curve that is coming in and I feel you have this vision of the four of pentacles okay this is the vision that you have in your mind something that you want to create where you have that rock steady foundation that you built yourself and something is coming in either an offering um, this could be a, a soulmate coming in this is you know I feel for some of you this is going to be a connection that is really going to open you to this new world this could be some sort of guidance coming in from somebody someone that's going to teach you something this could be a coach this could be a mentor someone that actually cares about you cares about your life it could be a parent a sibling uh, that bring an offering in to help you through this right teach you something it could be that kind of energy but whatever this is it's very positive it's opening you up to this whole new experience Leo and I feel that when this offer comes in you should take it being open and receptive to it because it's only there to help you it's not there to do anything negative I also feel some of you are going to receive some sort of incoming message around a job some sort of opportunity that is going to help you grow and really build this firm foundation um, that is paying you more um, and perhaps you've been looking for something or waiting for something to come in and it's finally coming in for you now this is kind of what I'm picking up and that wait um, if you've been waiting for something to happen this is where you need to take that action you have to actually initiate the process so if you're somebody that's looking for a, a new job the only way it's going to come in is if you apply for a new job and you look for that new job right sometimes it can be you know really tough um, switching things up maybe it's your career maybe you're just in a place where there's no growth nothing happening it's just dead space for you like there's no growth opportunities right so that's the other way the death card can come in is okay maybe this isn't the place that you're meant to stay so you're meant to end this um, this agreement with work in order for the new to come in and there's new coming in in a big big way here there's promise of success for you all right this is ultimate abundance okay so there's no money worries here this is a uh, financial freedom okay so letting go of things that will no longer serve you releasing and letting go we have the full moon right now um, so as you're watching this reading we already passed it what two days now so as you're watching you can still utilize that full moon energy to uh, really release and let go of what no longer serves you get that out of your life and set some intentions for the new all right so I just feel it's going to be very important whatever this is I'm also getting a younger female coming in for some of you maybe it has to do with a, a younger female somewhere in your life I don't know if any of you are sitting next to a fire right now I'm feeling uh, the warmth of a fire I'm feeling the heat and I can hear the sounds of the fire going right now so I'm picking up on that 
Is there a sunflower around you? Do you have a sunflower image or a sunflower, something to do with a sunflower? Maybe there's some images on an apron. Uh, perhaps you have some dried sunflower, sunflower seeds, something to do with a sunflower. That's what I'm picking up on here as well. A golden offer is what's coming in for you. This is what I'm picking up on. All right, so. So the other thing is um, some forces of fire, because this is what I'm getting here with the death card, some forces of fire cannot be tamed. So they need to come to an end completely. So you, only you know what that is. I'm just picking up on this energy here. Um, what else am I getting here? So hoarding energy is coming through the four of pentacles. So is there something that you're holding on to here, Leo? This could be something in your physical realm. This could be, you know, you literally buying things and hoarding them and not using them. Um, what I do, what, what I get with this hoarding energy in my own life is I sometimes buy clothes and I've stopped doing this, but I used to buy a lot of clothes and not wear them. I'd forget that I actually had them. They still have tags and I don't know why I had this problem. It was probably because I worked in a mall. So it was in my mind, it was there. Had I not seen it, I wouldn't have bought it. So out of sight, out of mind kind of um, analogy that's coming through here. Um, and really your spending habits is gonna be very important over the month of December, especially around Christmas, not to overspend. Really look at your finances here, Leo, because if you don't have enough to give, then you're not meant to give. You can give your love, you can give words of affirmation, you can um, do acts of kindness, but you don't have to spend money, right? I feel for you right now holding on to the money that you need in order to invest it in yourself and in order to grow. And I feel for some of you, you have manifested something in your life. Now, the other thing that's coming through here um, is the number 13 and the number four. So the 13th, the fourth could be a number of significance or a date of significance. I'm also getting 13 or four days, 13 or four weeks, 13 or four months for you. So um, especially with uh, the Four of Pentacles here, the Four of Pentacles in numerology is about manifestations. It's about laying solid foundations. It's about building security and stability in your life. And this is exactly what you are doing. I feel a lot of you work hard. I feel also, Leo, you're a manifesting generator. So you're able to manifest that idea. You come up with creative ideas and then you generate them through your hard work and through your effort. And I feel this isn't hard for you to do to bring this about into fruition in your life. So it's all about focusing your energy and really releasing whatever this is out of your life. What is this, by the way? So you'll have to share with me in the comment section, what, the, what is this death card for you? Are you holding on to something that uh, maybe happened in the past? Maybe it was someone who passed away that you're holding on to. It is now time to release and let go of that person. It's time to move on with your life. Right? This is another way that this card can come in, but this is letting me know the four of pentacles is letting me, letting me know there's like this horde energy, like there's something that you're holding on to, you're not wanting to let it go. Maybe you've held on to um, something that belonged to this person that passed over. Maybe there's something that you're kind of, you sit there and relive that experience over and over again because you have some sort of an item, you have an album, you know, it's great to have those things, but maybe put it away and just have it out of sight, out of mind for a while, uh, especially if it's affecting you, right? Affecting your energy. It's time to now close that chapter and just put it away and release that energy for now. Okay. Uh, I feel also that some of you are going through some sort of a healing period with this energy, but there's this focus on this, but there's almost like this heavy energy that's not letting you move towards this four of pentacles place because you're holding on to that energy which is weighing down on you heavy so it's now time to release and let go here my friends know that you're going to experience ultimate abundance this is a place again of that sturdy foundation that you're going to build we just had that full moon in gemini it was a beaver full moon so i'm getting the beaver vibes with this where you're building this dam to protect yourself right so that's what a beaver does it has a dam to protect its home so you're building this beautiful dam to protect 
your energy to protect your home, to protect yourself. This could come in the form of finances. This is what I'm getting, our finances. This is a level up in your finances here, Leo. So I want you to know it's coming towards you. It's available for you. What kind of energy are you willing to put towards this? Are you, uh, are you okay releasing something and implementing that energy towards this, towards your dream, towards your focus, towards your goals? All right, so it's about taking it seriously because it's in the cards for you. Leo, I'm picking up on a Taurus energy coming through for you. I've been wanting to call you Taurus uh, the whole time. I should have mentioned that, but it's coming through again. Leo, perhaps there's a Taurus around you. Maybe you have Taurus somewhere in your birth chart, or maybe there's a Taurus in your life. Um, a very strong energy, a reliable person, okay, that's coming through here. Now, the color gold or orange. I don't know if you wear this color or if there's something gold or orange around you. I'm picking up on this energy here as well. All right, I'm now going to pull a bonus card for you. This is a Spirit Animal Oracle deck. I always find that these bonus cards are great because anything that I uh, missed, these cards are going to pick up on. Also, it's going to give you a confirmation today if you've been seeing any kind of animals or insects. I'm going to read you the interpretation from the guidebook as well, Leo. All right, we're getting ant spirit, time to collaborate. So look at that, it's time to collaborate here, Leos. We've got the number one. Um, we have, no, we don't have the number eight, but the number eight keeps coming up in my mind. So uh, that's number eight is your number here, uh, Leo. I also feel it's the lion energy. Allow your lion to roam free here. Be that lion energy. That's what spirit guides are calling you to embody is that lion energy. We have the number one. The number one is tied to new beginnings. It's all about uh, individuality. It's about birth. Um, you have the potential to be a pioneer here. You are also a self-starter, Leo. So know that. And it's now time to uh, collaborate. Let's pull the interpretation of this card here for you. So one day, one week, one month, one year is a date coming in for uh, you, Leo. So when Ant Spirit comes to visit, it's to celebrate the benefits of working in partnership with others as a part of a community or a tribe. Spirit reminds you to, re to build your dream. You need to work with others, accept help and trust in your most important partnership, the one you have with Spirit. Your intentions will come to fruition if you remain awake and uh, uh, focused on co-creating your reality with others and with spirit. Remember that the world around you can easily seduce you if you don't have some sort of practice or discipline like meditation to keep you on track as you build the life you desire. So you know what? I feel for some of you, maybe there's a withering away of your connection to spirit here as well. And the light is shining in the background. So spirit really wants to connect back with you, Leo. So connecting with others and having the accountability partners can be very helpful as it's unlikely that everyone will fall asleep at the same time. The other message and spirit holds is that you are now at an auspicious time to ask for help and receive it. Whether you need help assembling a team, finding a new tribe, or requesting assistance from others who are there for you, everything is working to support you right now, Leo. So take that support. Be open and receptive to support around you. Um, it will make a huge difference in your life. All right, so that is your bonus card. I'm now going to pull an angel number for you as well. So some of you have been seeing angel numbers and repeating numbers in your life. This is going to give you your confirmation and guidance today. So we are getting full circle. Some of you are coming around full circle here and we're getting the number 1919. So have you been seeing the number 19 or is that a number of significance for you? Um, 19 days, 19 weeks, 19 months is coming through here. And again, one plus nine is 10 in numerology. That's a number one. So again, we're getting number one twice for you. So leadership. All right. Embrace new opportunities here. Don't allow things to deteriorate here or allow things to hold you in a place of lower vibrational energy. 
allow yourself to embrace new opportunities because there's so many coming in. I feel that you're going through a completion period. Some of you are at right. You're closing that chapter here, allowing profound change to come in. This is a transition that's coming through. Um, there's a cycle ending and a new one beginning. And you know, whenever we experience change here, Leo, don't ever be afraid of change. You are flexible. You are adaptable, right? So Allow yourself to tap into that power within yourself to lead yourself out of any circumstances that are holding you back or deteriorating your spirit. All right, so this is your reading today. I hope it resonates for you. If it does, please comment below, hit that like button. And if you're brand new to my channel and you're enjoying my content, please consider subscribing. Other than that, I wanted to wish you all a beautiful day and thank you so much for watching.